Welcome to one of the most stressful and scariest rooms in the world. That's right, it's the operating room because when you come in this room, you actually lose your memories and you don't know what happened to your body, especially if you had red hair. Maybe you or somebody you know has red hair and has wondered, do you need more anesthesia or are you more resistant to anesthesia? That's a great question, let's talk about it. First up, anesthesia isn't just one medication or one drug or one technique. There's a whole bunch of anesthetic medications. Maybe you've heard of anesthesia gas, like this one here, sevoflurane, or maybe you've heard of IV agents like the white stuff, or any number of other medications like lidocaine, or other agents like you see here. Now, when patients with red hair ask me, am I more resistant to anesthesia, what do I do? The answer is that you're not resistant to all the different types of anesthesia. In fact, the one that's been most studied is the anesthesia gas right here, this yellow one called sevoflurane. And it looks like patients that have red hair that have that gene mutation in that melanocortin-1 gene may have anywhere from 10 to 20% more resistance to anesthesia gas, specifically this one with the yellow. But that same resistance doesn't translate to other types of anesthetics, like the IV drugs or local anesthetics like lidocaine. But what's far more important than that 10 or 20% possible increase tolerance to anesthesia is the anxiety that it brings into patients. Whether you have red hair or not, if you come into the operating room like this with a lot of anxiety or fear or panic, those will all increase the amount of anesthesia you need, whether it be anesthesia gas or IV agents. And worse yet is that that panic, anxiety, or fear can actually translate to worse outcomes after your surgery, like worse pain, risk of depression, and any other number of surgical complications, also like poor wound healing. So what does this mean if you have red hair or someone that you care about is having surgery and they have red hair? Well, it's that even though there might be a little bit of increased risk of anesthesia tolerance, it's far less than the amount of increased anesthesia tolerance they're gonna have from the anxiety or fear leading up to it. I always treat patients based on what their bodies need in terms of anesthesia. I don't treat the red hair and I'm sure that your doctor will do the same. We treat patients, not hair color. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to follow and share with your loved ones and leave comments below and let me know what other secrets you wanna know about the human body so that you can control your inner healing potential.